Beats. This is the song that I'm publishing in the future. Hello all and welcome to this three month segment of my life that I wish lasted a little bit longer that I spent in Broomhill, Manitoba training bird dogs with Mr. Robin Gates. I hope you enjoy. Early on, I was able to see my first ever glimpse of the Northern Lights. It was pretty spectacular. Too bad that the camera couldn't pick it up because it was great. So let me start out by saying this isn't a tutorial on how to train dogs. This is all about what I did while I was up there and what I learned about life. I spent most of my free time hunting gophers, snaring gophers with hay string, napping arrowheads, and sleeping. Couldn't get enough sleep. I missed them. Well, Mr. Ground Squirrel got away, but I still got eight more weeks to kill him. And uh, before long, he'll be another skin on my wall from Canada. Although as far north as I was, I was still able to manage to see a little bit of the solar eclipse on August 21st. Nothing spectacular happened other than it got very dim and where you didn't have to wear sunglasses. Alright, so for some reason it seems like my shadow looks different. It's a lot dimmer. Later that evening, I had my last ever phone call with my great grandmother. This was our last picture taken together before I went off to Canada. The work I did was hard work, however it was fun work. And uh, a lot of the stuff that I did I learned a lot doing it and I also learned very much from my mistakes, which I made plenty of. I did try something that I've always wanted to try. Since the quail in the quail box was laying eggs, uh, I decided to pick some up and, well, make a quail egg and cheese sandwich out of it for lunch one day. So here lately I've been having some uh, some dreams about being home and about catching fish and uh, killing deer and stuff and being here in Canada and being on the edge of deer season or bow season, it kind of hurts my heart that I got to be uh, 2,000 miles away from my deer stand right now. Sucks. So it's August 29th, and uh, we've been working dogs and stuff. Things have been going good. I still suck at paying attention. I mean, uh, 
It's kind of like being in math class. You really need to pay attention. But uh, since my last update, I did break the G string on my guitar and uh, elixirs are expensive. And uh, I didn't bring any because uh, I had an extra pair, but I just didn't have a chance to bring them. So now everything I play sounds like crap. So all I can really work on is singing and playing out of tune and stuff. Uh, but anyways, uh, things have been going good. Uh, my dogs, they're learning a lot. They're doing good. My birthday is September the 16th and I'm so ready to get home now. I'm, uh, this past week I've really been missing home just because I'm, uh, just because I want to get back and hunt. Can't hunt here in Canada because number one, I ain't got a license. Number two, I have zero time whatsoever. Uh, but that's about it. I can hunt gophers uh, with a pellet gun that barely works, but I need I need more things to do than hunt gophers because I don't like hunting gophers anymore. Yeah. Being that I had my own list of dogs to work every day, I was not able to get as much film as I'd like to in action. However, I am satisfied with what I have, being that I could have no film at all. I was not able to take any photography or film on a professional level because I left my Nikon at home thinking it might get damaged in my time being in Canada or the trip up or the trip back down. As you can see, trees were pretty sparse. I think most of the trees I saw were cottonwoods and poplar. But anywhere you could find trees, you could also find wildlife. Not to mention on this trip was the first time I had ever seen a mule deer. I saw a couple of them and the buck was just magnificent. All the film in this video was taken either on my iPhone 6 Plus or my Galaxy S5. Therefore, camera quality is not great, but it'll do. up since 5 30 no nap got an hour off for lunch and now it's like about to be 10 o'clock and I'm still not done working I'm about to be there always grinding I noticed that the cattle up here looked a lot more healthier than the ones we have down south. I'm pretty sure that's not only because of genetics, but because these cows have alfalfa and other grasses to eat. Not to mention, but the quality of beef here did seem a lot better than what I have in Georgia. Every so often, we would get a visit paid by Mr. Coyote. There were several of them here, and this film was taken on September 1st. We was out riding our horses looking for prairie chickens, and this one showed up across the prairie. About 200 yards. Alright guys, so this is where I left off on uh, editing this video. Right now it is currently August 13th of 2020. So, all this film and previous voiceover was taken three years ago in 2017 anyhow the days were very long when i first got to canada and the temperature ranged from about 45 degrees in the mornings in august i recall and uh got all the way up into the 90s but being that it was very dry i didn't sweat much and it didn't feel as hot as it does back home On the prairies of Manitoba, there was a lot of wind, a lot of house flies, a lot of mosquitoes, and a lot of coyotes. 
more than I was used to seeing back home. Paul and tell y'all, in Manitoba. Yeah. Another, another beautiful day out here in Manitoba. Ain't nothing wrong but the mosquitoes. They're pretty bad. Regular day on the prairie, super freaking windy. It's blowing hard too. There were tons of garter snakes there. I ended up catching several of them and playing with them when I was bored. This right here shows a dugout in the cow pasture. Back behind camp that I would go to every evening and call home and tell them stories from what had happened days previously. And I thought it'd be cool to let a snake bite me in slow motion, so there you go. Here's a record bug killed by Big Dave, which was an awesome, kind gentleman that I met while I was up there. He did tons of hunting, and I found very much interest in all of his stuff, especially his artifacts that he had found up there. I find tons of artifacts back home, but nothing like what he had found here. Most of the chert was uh, Knife River Flint from the Dakotas that was traded up into Manitoba. And also saw antlers that he had harvested off of uh, caribou, elk, moose, all sorts of stuff. I loved this little place. It was called Rawhide. It was an old homestead about three quarters of a mile behind camp. More than anything, I wanted to try doing some fishing. However, all the locals told me that these ponds and the rivers freeze over during the heavy winters and kills all of the fish. So I never did get the chance to fish, unfortunately. Been hunting about an hour on this creek bed, and this is all that I found so far. I'm pretty sure that these are bison bones back from when they used to uh, run wild around here. They're either that or just really, really old cow bones. They were just barely sticking out of this rock surface, and it makes it really challenging to find artifacts and stuff because. The material I'm looking for is a different color than the native rocks around here. And being in this old creek bed, all the rocks are the same color. So it's September 11th. My birthday is in five days and I will be home on my birthday. So five more days, I can do that. Uh, right now I'm out here scooping poop and uh, we're going to be loading the trailer when they get back and all this week is is just to prep for going home and then uh, three day drive back down and return dogs to everybody life's good right now